Hey everybody, this is Jay with Tart Nation, your Southern Fried Kilk Adventure. How y'all doing? Anyway, uh, I was going to put up a small video. I am very late. I'm behind on everything. So uh, to go ahead and get started, Happy Halloween, or Happy Salin, to uh, whatever you were celebrating this 31st of October. And uh, let's see, uh, me and Joe went to the Renaissance Fair and had a ton of fun there, as everybody saw. We posted most of the pictures. Um, all of it was fit to print. Uh, let's see, and I actually got harassed a little bit at the, uh, the Ren Fair, not, not in a bad way, but uh, a lady at the Ren Fair said that my booty looked nice and fine in my kilt, which I'm kind of like, well, you know, it's, it's not cool if you told a girl that, so, you know, was, uh, is it cool to tell a guy that? So I was just wondering, so let me know what you think, you know, if that kind of thing is cool. Some books fell over. Anyway, this is my office or at least this is mine until they sent somebody else in here with me and uh this is my whiteboard and my fridge magnets rocky horror picture show and various and sundry other things <coughs> uh, one of the things i want to talk about today is um the whole my kilt is not a costume bit uh i have a little bit of an opinion on that because um the thing is is your kilt it's sort of a costume, the way I see it. It's like wearing a tuxedo. Um, it's not one of those things that you see all the time. So a lot of people are going to figure, you know, why are you wearing that instead of jeans and a t-shirt? Which, you know, I guess in a way, that kind of shows you where we are as far as the acceptance of kilts or other garments or anything like that in the society that we have. We, we basically have a status quo, a social contract that, you know, if you violate it, people are uncomfortable with. So, you know, that's, that's just a fact of life. You have to deal with it. Although, if more people wear kilts, then it's more acceptable. Uh, then again, you face the whole thing of, well, then it's more acceptable, and now everybody's doing it. So do, do you still want to do it? You know, which is, you know, it's great if you still do, and if, if you're part of the crowd that just wants to be weird, well, sorry, it happens. Anyway, um, here's what we all came for today. I am wearing... The black watch kilt, because it was clean. <laughs> I had to throw it in the washer because yesterday none of my kilts were clean. <laughs> and I had to wear a utility kilt to work. And usually uh, I kind of save my utility kilts for around the house and working in the yard. Because they are they usually are a little bit tougher and need that kind of thing. And uh, I just don't feel as uh, comfortable. Wearing a utility kilt. It's kind of like wearing blue jeans. I guess I could do it for like casual Friday. My casual kilt. But uh, yeah, my uh, my bio kilt, kilt I, it feels a lot more like slacks. It's something, you know, you want to go out and do something in. Um, also, I like my, uh, my bio kilt kilts up here because, believe it or not, even though I have an upstairs office, it's bloody cold up here. That's why I'm wearing the jacket. Because it is... Normally, I'm a person who appreciates the cold, but this is a bit much. Even though uh, the um, thermostat outside of my office says it's 70 degrees, I don't believe that for a minute because it is cold up here. Anyway, uh, the new job is going great. Um, I got a project that uh, I've managed to plow through in two or three days, whereas the last three people who have tried to plow through this project have uh, taken much longer to get nothing done. So, uh, everybody's all happy about that. Uh, that plus, um, I've gotten so much done, I'm going to be helping out uh, the people downstairs and see if I can help them plow through some of their workloads. So, yay, get to do some of that. Um, they've actually put me in uh, marketing and um, sort of, ad well, not really advertising sales, but, you know, more marketing type stuff, um, which is kind of new for me. But I'm totally cool with that because I'm all up for learning something new whenever I can. Um, let's see. So all that's going great. Uh, let's see, we've got a new dog. Uh, we named him Tywin because Tywin Lannister is my favorite character out of the whole Game of Thrones series. Of Robert Baratheon, you know, was my favorite too. But, um, well, you know, I just, I just kind of like the, the way Tywin did things. Which, you know, is probably going to catch me a lot of flag from people, but... Yeah, I like who I like. <laughs> but anyway, I've taken up about five minutes of your time, so I'll go ahead and wrap this up.
and uh, hopefully I'll get you a video out sooner than a week out. So anyway, take it easy, keep them breezy, and this month is also Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, so take it easy, keep them breezy, and get them things checked. <laughs>